tonight's episode of Chin Smoke's Fork, the Nova finally gets painted. Oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. Good way to end that one. Aye. Right, just let me wait out to get the paint mixed up for the Nova then. straightening some of these panels out, a few little dents here and there.
Det er irriteret off. And put this through. Now the tricky bit, you have to get this back on in the top. Right, so that's the pin on there. Now this piece here, you get this bar onto that, you get your hammer and you hit this down and it will extract the pin from the door hinge. Have you put the kettle on yet? No, I'm doing this man. Go on, the coffee now. How many sugars do you want? One. Hi, <laughs> alright. Put that in there. Eight hundred wet and dry, right? Sand and blocks. We'll get one each. Right, so I need to put a guide coat on all these panels over the top of the primer. What that is, it's a it's a bit of light black paint that you spray on with an aerosol. When sanding the panel, any imperfections will show up as black low spots. Once you're finished sanding, you're left with a perfectly flat surface ready for paint to commence. weeks to get it done in time for that raw show something good <coughs> so I've got the shell in primer now I need to fit the side skirts fit like that there's two holes in here for screws they have clips on the bottom. These are the clips that you use. And they get put in special rivets. Not like that.
So I'm just setting the position for the brackets for the rear bumper now. You have to drill two holes if you've got new panels in like this. Um, there's a plastic clip that sits in there. This lets you set where the, where you, where the bumper's going to sit. So I'm be fine with these. Mark 1 Nobles, like this, the bumpers, they never, they never fit very well. So it's a good opportunity now for me to try and make a nice job of it. So that's where I've got the holes for this. Nice even gap along there. It fits really nice and straight. There's a lock and key for the wheels, isn't there? You know where it is? In the glove box. Very light. You're gonna rip that beautiful base coat off that you just lay it down. Alright. What forgot here then? Looks like a dead fly. I worked in a paint shop when I was about 16, right? And the lad who ran it, he used to get bits like that in his paint, and he had this thing that he used to pick them out with. And he actually gave us it, and I've still got it, 15 years later. That's disgusting.
absolutely knackered. 15 hour shift on this to do. It's barely worth it. Five. Hmm. Oh, I'm in there, cut that off.